OK, in this problem, an object has pulled up a rough plane inclined at 35 degrees to the horizontal by a light inextensible rope parallel to the plane. The object has a mass of 50 kilos and accelerates up the slope at 3.2 meters per second per second. After two seconds, the rope breaks and the object slides down the hill, accelerating at 5 meters per second per second. Find the constant frictional force and the tension in the rope before it breaks. OK, so we've really got two situations here. We've got this first bit where we've got the object is being pulled up the slope by that rope with tension T. Um, it's 35 degree inclined angle. Uh, you've got the weight working vertically downwards. Uh, it's 50 kilos, so that's 50 G. We can divide that up into its component parts, so 50 G sine 35 and 50 G cosine 35 and I've got the normal reaction force and I'm going to have a frictional force uh, working against the direction of motion. We're accelerating at 3.2 meters per second per second. Okay, that's the first stage. The second stage We've got the block on the slope, but the rope has broken. We've still got the weight working downwards, so for 50G, so 50G sine 35 and 50G cosine 35. I've still got that normal reaction force R, but the friction is now working against the direction of motion and I'm accelerating down at 5 meters per second per second. Okay, so here's stage 1, here's stage 2. Okay, this is the situation that I have. So, in order to find uh, the constant frictional force and the tension in the rope before it breaks, uh, looking at these two diagrams, if I look at trying to find the frictional tension from this one, I've got them both working in the same parallel to the plane, and subsequently uh, I'm going to have an equation with two unknowns in it. So it makes sense to actually find the frictional force from this situation first, okay? Because that F there and that F there are going to be the same value, okay? Because there's a constant frictional force applying, being applied to the block. Okay, so if we're going to look at situation two first, we're going to resolve parallel to the plane, okay? So, what have I got? Well, if I resolve this so that I'm working, uh, taking down the plane as positive, okay, I've got the 50G sine 35 degrees, okay, the component of the weight, I've got the friction working against me, and that's got to be equal to the mass times by the acceleration. Okay, so I've got the 50, I'm going to take G as 9.8, 50 times 9.8 times sine of 35 degrees. Okay, so that's 281. Uh, I'm going to take away the 50 times 5. And that gets me 31.0524. So the frictional force is 31 newtons to two significant figures. Okay? That's my frictional force. Right, now I can look at situation number one. And I can resolve parallel to the plane again. And I'm going to take up the plane as positive, the direction of motion. So I've got T take away F, which I know is that 31, take away the weight that's working against me, the 50 G sine 35, and that's got to be equal to the mass, 50, times by the acceleration, 3.2. So I've still got the 31.052 in my calculator display. Okay, I'm going to add that on 
to the 50 lots of 3.2. And I'm going to add on the 50 lots of 9.8 times sine of 35. And that gets me 472.104. So 470 newtons to two significant figures. So that is the tension in the rope, okay, uh, before it breaks. And subsequently we have this motion of the block um, hurtling down the slope.